walking just all over the front of the classroom and she was just so excited about cells. And I was like, this woman loves her job. Like she likes to teach and she knows what she's talking about. I had two very inspirational teachers, um, one in seventh grade and one in tenth grade that just kind of lit the fire in my heart to be a teacher. She forced me, she said, you have to get up there, you have to bring yourself out of this shell. Uh, no one could have coaxed me to do a speech in front of people that I didn't know. And that, that's when I knew. She just, it, it clicked. And really, she's been a blessing in my life. She inspires me to be a better teacher and a better person. just a class you took, it was something you learn and it wasn't also from the textbook, it was what he taught me and indirectly to overcome obstacles. So it was his, would be his determination, be a successful architect or successful in whatever career he chooses. Born to be a teacher. When I was a child, it was just there. I bossed people around. I'm good at it. She was just so dedicated to her students and made like always had a smile every single day, no matter what like she went through all the time. Made me feel like so welcome and comfortable to be at the school. I became a guidance counselor because I wanted to make a difference. She's very inspiring. Every student that walks through those guidance counselor doors, she's always trying to help them do their best and she can see great potential in all of us. Um, I have no doubt that one day Amber will become a nurse um, and help as many people in this community as possible. I never had a class that was like Miss Mills. Like, it's not just all what's in the textbook. It's like independent, lifelong learning with the class. I became a teacher to pass along what I think is the most important lesson that I learned in life, and that is that learning does not take place in just the classroom, that learning takes place everywhere and it's lifelong. When you know they're getting it or that they're engaged, that they really are worried to, you know, the, or that not worried, I don't think that's a good word, but hanging on what you're saying to the end because they're interested in that conclusion or that idea. But this was not a boring class. <laughs> I appreciate that. Teaching cosmetology stuff with me, it was my, that was my best, that's where I'm good at. In the beginning of the school year, whenever we first started learning how to do, you know, the simple braid. So Chris, around the Christmas holiday, 18 weeks, very successful because she is a perfectionist. The best moments are whenever I see my kids actually get the aha moment and they, they strive to do something better whenever they go to a state competition and they actually put what they know to, to work and brings them further advanced. Unique. I've never seen them ahead. I really seen I wasn't learning anything. So I talked with Miss Norma about it. And she said what we can do is just do one study at a time. Wise, wise would be my, my favorite word for him. Not, not just smart, wise, wise. In, in all ways. I 
team that have to say on lab days or when you see the kids actually like understand the material and the light bulb truly goes off. She's just not the plain Jane teacher and she just like keeps things fun. Determined. Be running a company somewhere either for herself or someone that she knows. What makes her a special educator is her devotion to students. She is just a phenomenal teacher. She's amazing at what she does and she's a phenomenal person, just overall. To be able to help others achieve their dreams and goals. A successful psychologist <laughs> helping others. <laughs> When I see a student's face and they realize they get it, they learned it, they, they know it, and you can just see it light up in their face um, to make a difference in young people's lives. Uh, it's about like how, how well he is to inspire. Whatever she puts her mind to, she will be a star. Fun, because like she just made every day so fun. Like I had trouble in reading, and she always told me, "You always, you got this. Don't give up, and just keep trying. You're gonna get it one day." My best moments in education are when I see the students dressed up for graduation, cap and gown, they're so proud, the parents are excited. Um, I could barely hold my excitement in. Her being there for me and having somebody to talk to and not judge me for all of my faults. I think that Alexis was going, is going to be a positive role model. I truly believe that whether it's in OT to her patients, to children, or just to people in general, she is going to be a positive role model. No, I would be a teacher. This is what we do in my family. Well, I think that year I was finally like, oh, this is a class I want to come to. Like, sometimes uh, a lot of my teachers would be really boring, but this was not a boring class. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, he's going to be a successful lawyer. <laughs> I really feel like he's going to be able to do that. She really helped me make my decision on what I want to do whenever I go to college. I love the beauty school setting and uh, the owner of the beauty school asked me to come back to become a teacher and I fell in love with the program and everybody I worked with, the whole, I just loved it. Last year, about this time, when I, after I won state, he was like, like he did everything he could to make me get ready for nationals. So I was like, you know, nobody's ever done that for me. I want to share my knowledge with the students. I like to see him strive to, to do better. He's just really dedicated to what he does. Her determination, doing what she does, helping kids that needs to, that wants to learn, and, and she does a good job at it. Graduation is just a, a celebration of all their successes and hard work, so that would be the, the most rewarding each year.
doctor of some sort. If I wouldn't be a guidance counselor, I would be a police officer. I think maybe like a marine biologist because I, I like fishing, I like being outdoors, things like that. Doing something in wood with my hands. I think that I would be a party planner because I really enjoy celebrating these successes. <laughs> in some kind of teaching role in a hospital because I am really into science. Computers, network. I would be a dental hygienist. <laughs> That's what I was going to school for before being a teacher. I tried a few receptionist jobs in the medical occupation, but no, I would be a teacher. This is what we do in my family.